Hey y'all, it's a Beer Thirst Machine. It's gonna be a What Soul video. Stay tuned, there's some heavy hitters in this one. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also as the Beer Thirst Machine here on YouTube, and I basically buy stuff and flip it online for a full-time income and for a living, and mostly on eBay. So today we're gonna go for 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of weeks, and they're going to be all on eBay. If you're new to the channel, I basically do what sold videos, haul videos, and the day in the life of a full-time reseller. So if you like that type of content, give me a subscribe, give me a comment down below, and like the video. So let's go ahead and get started on the first item. All right, the first one right here is gonna be a Nerf and Strike Elite Blaster. This was a very large Nerf gun, and so for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping, I picked this up at a yard sale for about a dollar and took about two months to sell, but I'm already good on that yard sale, so that's going to be pure profit. This one right here is a Yingling Wilson stand-up bag. This was like brand new and I got it out of my storage locker. Now, I've only bought one storage locker and I want to buy more in 2021. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it down in the description. It's really good and it was a really good storage locker. I'm already in the profit, but it did take about three months to sell this bag. But again, it was like brand new and it did sell for $75. The buyer did pay shipping and I sent that FedEx. This is a stainless steel king cutter, vegetable cutter slicer. Now it says read because there was a part missing on the back, but it wasn't going to hurt like how you use this. It just makes, I think like the vegetables not fly up or something. I don't know, but I did get it for $10 at the local thrift store. It did sell for $49 and the buyer did pay shipping. It took only about a week to sell, but if you find one of these and all the parts are there, they usually go for about 60 or $70. These coach and four black heels. I don't sell a lot of women's clothing or heels, but this one right here came in a huge high bid lot on a closet. I have less than 50 cents in this and they sold for $15 and the buyer did pay shipping and I believe they went international. It took about four to six months to sell. These right here are Porter Cable nail and staple guns. And I lotted them together because they weren't a whole bunch of money like individually, but I did get them at a yard sale for about $5 a piece. I'm already good on that yard sale, like way in the profit on that. So this is gonna be pure profit. I put them up on auction just to see how high they would go. I started the bidding at $65. I only got one bid for $65, so it took 10 days to sell. The buyer did pay shipping and it did fit in a large flat rate box. So it only took 10 days to sell and I have nothing into it at this time. This is an Adams Iron a7 single eight iron. It was a right-handed club with a stiff shaft, went for $19.90. I'm already in the profit on this. This was in that $600 huge golf lot that I got not too long ago, about two weeks. So it took two weeks to sell, and I am, like I said, already in the good on that. So all those are going to be profit now. These rainbows have less than a dollar into them at a yard sale, and they did go for $15, and the buyer did pay shipping. The size was five and a half to six and a half, and they were real. And these had like a little a bedazzle thing majiggy on the strap. Maybe that made them sell because I have a couple more rainbows that aren't selling. This is a tailor-made R540 10 and a half degree driver. It was a regular flex and a right-handed club. Went for $29.90, the buyer did pay shipping. I actually bought this on a bulk buy on Facebook Marketplace. Already in the good, but I think this one did take about two months to sell. And these golf clubs are still selling. I have to say, a lot of my golf clubs are going international through the global shipping program on eBay. These King Cobras I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. I have about $24 in these and they did sell for $119 and the buyer did pay shipping on these. I only took about a month to sell. And I am noticing that sets are selling a lot faster now than single clubs. Here's a big hitter right here. These are Titleist 660 forged irons. This was a broken set. It wasn't the whole set. So it had a three and four iron. And then it had a seven iron through pitching wedge. And these right here were incredible buy. I actually got a shout out Carolina Hustler who told me about these. And they sold for $250 and the buyer did pay shipping. I bought them on a huge bulk buy on Facebook Marketplace with a couple of the clubs and I've already paid off these clubs so this is going to be pure profit and took about uh, about a month to sell. This is a vintage Hard Rock Hotel t-shirt. This sold for $9. The buyer did pay shipping. I picked this up at a Salvation Army for about $2 so not a lot of profit there. Just happy to see it go. It did take about a month to sell. This one right here are four vintage Craftsman VV series and V series double open-ended wrenches. This came from a yard sale. I have about a quarter into each wrench and they sold for $12 and the buyer did pay shipping. That went in a padded flat rate and took about a month to sell. This is a Callaway Steelhead X14 seven iron graphite shaft left-handed club. Went for $22.50, the buyer did pay shipping. This I believe is also out of that large bulk buy so it only took about two weeks to sell and that's all profit. 
These Ben Hogan iron set, this was a whole iron set, three through nine plus an E. These were in pretty bad condition. I know that picture doesn't make it look like that, but a guy did offer me and explain that he did have to grip them and then the shafts weren't in that good a condition. So I let them go for $50. I probably had about $15 into them. So not a lot made here, but just happy to see them gone because I've had them for about eight months. This is a Callaway Steelhead X16 7 iron. This went for $22.50. The buyer did pay shipping. This is also out of that big golf lot, again, already in the profit. So it took about two weeks to sell. That was a right handed club with a regular Uniflex shaft on it. I've had these fishing reels forever. Just glad to see them go. Somebody offered me $20 and I definitely took it. This came out of a high bid auction probably eight months ago and they were for parts and repair and they did so for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping. Just glad to see them go. This is a Billy Club driving iron. Now, when you're out looking at golf clubs and you see a driving iron, always comp that out because I always say out, I always comp out driving irons because you just never know. Even if they're not really name brand, still give them a look because this one wasn't really name brand and it did sell for $21.99. The buyer did pay shipping and took very fast to sell, maybe less than a week. These right here, I, a while back, I did get a whole bunch of free photographs from the United States Navy. Well, I didn't like the Navy didn't send them to me. Somebody just gave them to me for free. And I have a lot of these. I probably have hundreds and hundreds of these pictures and they're all listed. And I did sell a couple of these. They're in sets. So this can be eight pictures. And they sold for $70 and the buyer did pay shipping. These are really cool pictures actually from like on ships and everything. So it's really nice, but I'm surprised how much they actually go for. And it did take about a month to sell. I have a whole bunch left, but they keep selling and I got them for free. So all that's profit. This one right here is a vintage ceramic radio 1998 edition went for ten dollars and the buyer did pay shipping it did work this was in a high bid auction i actually didn't buy this auction out because of this so it's just one of those things to make extra money i'm already in the good on that so that's gonna be pure profit but it probably took four months to sell this woman's tailor-made burner driver this is an 11 half degree bubble shaft to l60 graphite shaft right-handed club went for twenty dollars the buyer did pay shipping i probably have three dollars in this at a goodwill and those old bubble shafts i know they're older clubs but as you can sell tailor-made still sells so when you're out there looking you see tailor-made with a bubble shaft go ahead and comp it out because they still sell for about twenty dollars plus shipping all right, that is 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of weeks. Hopefully this has been educational. Hopefully you learned something. You can go out there and find some of this stuff and then flip it online and make some money for yourself. Just because it's winter, I thought that the golf clubs were really going to tank, but I'll tell you, they have been going crazy. I've been selling a ton of them and most of them have been going international through the Global Shipping Network. So if you're not on that on eBay, you know, you might want to take a look at it. I find that it actually works out pretty good for me. So I appreciate y'all watching and everybody have a very happy and safe New Year's and you know I will always catch on the next one.